Oh, you do? Should I'm gonna call it. <laughs> well, I'm fine with that too. Hello, Bob. Hello, Bob. Hello, Bob. Thank you, so now, Bob. Well, from what I heard, you you slept with a copy of the Watchmen graphic novel under your bed. Isn't that true? That was my pillow. That was your pillow. Well, that's a whole different story. Um, from what you've heard, <laughs> you told me this when I visited you on the set. Yeah, you said you always kept a, kept a copy under your pillow. Yeah, well, I keep it next to my pillow. I do, I actually. I did throughout the course of shooting. It was always there by my bedside. Now, what That's did? No joke. I'm not here to play around. Well, I didn't think you were. You were like, "Hey, what's up?" So, um, now, what did you get from the novel? That, like, I mean, did, how valuable of a tool was it to have this at your disposal? Oh, through this whole thing. Uh, unbelievable. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Uh, um, uh, uh, unbelievable. I mean, it. Uh, ev- before every scene, I would uh, get it. And I would look at it and figure out which, you know, if, if there were lines that I felt like were cut from the script or cut, you know, from the graphic novel to fit into this, you know, blah, 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 blah. There are lines that need to be changed or, you know, moments that we sort of wanted to flesh out that maybe the script had cut. And so, and Zach was always super supportive of that if it, uh, you know, made the story better. Now, are you the character that can't get it up? No, I got that one wrong, right? This is not Watchmen Education, Bob. Jeez, see, I don't know anything. I, that fans are going to kill me now. <laughs> no, I am. I am that character. See, I knew what I was talking about. You did. I just wanted to embarrass your your <laughs> lack of knowledge. I have full knowledge. I've read this thing 20 times. In a fake cop uniform, you have nothing, Bob. <laughs> I'm going to arrest you for the movie police in a second. Jeez. <laughs> well, no, how was that? I mean, because not the girl come in and... Read the ring. I did. I'm just, geez. <laughs> See, that's what happens. Getting cut off. When the tables turn. Um, yeah. Well, yes. In all seriousness, yes. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's. It's very much a metaphor, and it's very true that he doesn't. Uh, he's not able to sort of perform unless uh, he's in the suit, and so it's sort of that's the. Uh, yeah, that's a very important sort of part of his psychology and his sort of struggle of being a man, and it's sort of that's the metaphor of it that he physically cannot perform. Okay, now is there one scene you're really excited for the fans to see that involves your character? Oh, man. Um, I don't know. So much stuff. It's really... God, the fight in the uh, the alley fight. The, all the special effects are going to... I mean, all the, all the big fights are going to be awesome. I don't know. I really... I'm so lame right now because I haven't seen a lot of it. Well, I hope so. Yeah, I mean, it's just... It's crazy. So every scene was like... What? What is this? What you know? It's uh, it's pretty overwhelming. Okay. Well, thank you. No problem, man. <laughs> Good talking. Yes.